All right, number seven, this is switched. Um, we've got two of them here. Uh, we've got essentially um, two of them here. We, we're going from, uh, let's see, we're going from negative two to zero. Okay, and then we're gonna add from zero to, where do they intersect there? Three, zero to three. Okay. All right. So um, we've got two integrals now. In this first one here, from negative two to zero, we have the cubic dominating. Now this is going to be a dy. Okay. So that's exactly how we have these expressed. So it looks like the cubic dominates the. The cubic dominates the curves, so the cubic subtracting the quadratic. And the quadratic was just that, so that's really great. Cool. dy. And then plus, this will be the other one that we'll do separately. We're going to go from 0 to 3, and that's where the quadratic will subtract the cubic. Okay, so they're going to be pretty similar. And that should be our setup and we're just going to execute it i do like the fact that we got zeros so that'll make this significantly faster than number five now remember i'm skipping six and eight because that's just too much um so oops okay so now we've got one fourth y to the fourth um i'm gonna put this over here so y one negative one third y to the three so is that right yes okay and then we're going to get minus three y squared okay all right we're going to evaluate this at negative two to zero so plugging in the zero zero uh, minus okay so now negative two into the fourth power would be 16. 16 times 1 fourth is 4. Um, this guy, negative 2 to the negative 8 would be a positive 8 over 3. But let's slow down here. Okay, that's negative, double negative, 8 over 3. Okay. Um, then we've got minus... Um, minus two squared, negative two squared is positive four minus 12. Okay. Those two will combine for negative eight. Okay. So minus negative eight plus eight over three. Okay, man, I do not trust myself. Uh, negative 24 over three plus eight over three. Okay, that's going to be a negative right there. And then, um, what is that going to be? Negative, uh, what is that? 16, 16, 16. Yes, yeah, 16 over 3, right? Yeah. And then that's going to be positive. 16 over 3. So, that's one piece. All right, 16 over 3. Now, over here, we're going to add this, but we just treated them separately because we're smart. Um, we're going to go ahead and distribute this guy so he'll become a negative. And then he'll become a positive. So a negative y to the third plus y squared plus 6y. It should be the exact opposite of what this was. Okay, good. That's what we got. So remember, we're adding these. I'm going to go ahead and take the anti derivative. Negative 1 fourth over 4. Is it the same? I mean, it's like basically the same, except we just have the negatives. Okay, and then plus 3y squared. We're going to evaluate those at 3 and 0, but we don't need to do 0. We will actually just do 3. So negative 1 fourth, 3 to the fourth power, plus 1 third, 3 to the third power, plus 3 times 3 to the second power. Subtracting that big old goose egg, and we are good. Okay, so if I do this carefully... Um, uh, punch it into the calculator. All right, I'm going to pause. 
All right, that's going to going to be a 63 over four. So guess what these two added together are? Yes, you are correct, 253 over 12. All right, and that will be your final answer. Okay, outstanding. We are now at level eight. We're skipping eight. All right, and now we're going to nine. So let's go to nine. Where's my sheet here? Is it underneath? Oh, I folded it. Okay. So here we go. We'll make this another video.